<laughs> Today's episode, it's got something a little special. A machete. Today, we're gonna open up a champagne bottle with a machete. You know why? Because I've always wanted to do it. <laughs> Here we go. Better stay tuned. This is Troy. This is Nate. And using this crazy contraption from the heyday of the 1950s American cocktail party, we're going to try each one of its recipes and find out which one of these long forgotten libations still stands the test of time. This is The Vintage Bartender. Hey everyone, welcome to this week's episode of The Vintage Bartender. I'm Nate. I'm Troy. And today we are going to continue on our journey. Our of quest. Yeah. Of sorts. There you go. Make a it spiritual epic. epic journey. Absolutely. To drink all 80 of these drinks from the 1950s cocktail Rolodex called the Bar Aid. Very strange, very unusual. You didn't object. know about it then, but you know about it now. Now you know. If you didn't know, now you now know. You know. As they say. Uh, Troy. What is today's drink, Nate? Dude. I'm not going to lie. I took a little peek yeah. before. Yeah, you peek? And I'm, I'm kind of excited about this one. Oh my gosh. This week's drink, drink reveal. Number six, Alfonso cocktail. Alfonso cocktail. Alfonso, who the f is Alfonso? Alfonso? I don't know. We're gonna, you know what? Let's find out who Alfonso We're gonna is find out. and the cocktail and all of its history. All right, dude, hit it with the history. Hit it with history. Bang. The first champagne cocktail in our journey through the bar aid was named after Spanish King Alfonso the Thirteenth, who first tasted this drink while exiled in France. During his exile in the 1930s, Alfonso was a bar regular in Paris, Rome, and the French Riviera, which is likely why the cocktail was made in his honor. What the original Alfonso consisted of and who made it is highly debated, with recipes including gin or champagne, but we're going with the Bar Aid's recipe of sugar, bitters, Dubonnet, champagne, and a lemon twist. Alfonso was a disaster of a monarch, but we're glad his namesake cocktail made the Bar Aid's list. Now let's get ready to pop some bubbly and make some cocktails. History or not, the most important part. How it tastes. How it tastes. Let's see what we get. So this one's a little different. We have a little different ingredient list. I'm excited than about previous. Today. We got kind of some bananas going on today. We do. This is this is gonna be a good good time, <laughs> whether it tastes good or not. Whether we end up in the hospital or not, which will make more sense in a minute. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. I mean, I'm optimistic. I, I have full faith. I do have confidence. good health coverage if we do end up in the hospital. Oh. I am approaching my max yearly allowance already, so <laughs> pretty much everything's free from here on out. <laughs> so you're good to go. <laughs> nice. All right. I need my amputations and all. All right, man. Should we make this? Let's make this, dude. All right. All right. Preach make it. it. All right. One lump of sugar. One lump of sugar. Bang. How many dashes of these bitters? Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I turned it around. Uh, we're gonna do one dash with bitters. No particular type, but, ooh. Oh, that was a ooh. good dash. That was a good dash. That was like a dash and a half. <laughs> that was a good dash. That dude. was like a 40 meter dash plus 20 meters. Dash. And so, dash. yeah. And now we need to add an ice cube. Oh, oh. You know what? Do we have a good they're very, ice cube? They're very specific about their an ice cube. Dude, it's it's ice inside of champagne, so it's already sort of borderline dubious. Oh man, that looks like <laughs> Not like that's our fault. I'm just saying like that's. Okay, an that's, ice cube, an ice cube, we, bitters, and sugar. We're just following As the recipe. As we follow the directions. From the bar aid, from very the bar specifically. Aid. And then we need to add half a jigger of Dubonnet. There was a lot of debate around what a half what a, a jigger, jigger is. So half a jigger, we're gonna go half an ounce. Half an ounce. I feel like that's an appropriate amount. I, 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 I agree as Ooh. well, because the uh, it seems like a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that does we'll, seem we'll like do a lot. It, but we're gonna do Jesus. it. Jesus. Half a jigger. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's red like. Even, but, I mean, half an ounce, that's basically what we're doing there. I mean. Half an ounce. You can't go any smaller than that if you're in a half. You really can't. Well, you, you technically can, but yes. But, but I mean, it seems an appropriate amount. So. Nonetheless, this is where we're starting from, right? Yes. Sounds Absolutely. good. Absolutely. That's where we're at. That's where we're starting from. But the real drama and trauma of this episode has to do with champagne. We need champagne. Everyone knows champagne is a little bit of drama, and that's part of the like celebratory exactly. vibe of it all. Did you know all champagne has the same amount of twists in this uh, wire thing? No. I Six. Rain Man. One, two, three, three. four, five. Six. Dude, dude. 
I'm glad I said six. I wasn't really <laughs> sure if it was six or seven. We could just pop this open. I could just grab it and pull it out like a savage. We could just pop that some, put someone's eye out, but we'd rather do something extra dangerous. A little special. Um, I have a lot of mixed feelings about what's about to happen next. I'm not gonna lie. I am pretty excited about it. <laughs> I'm gonna clear some way because we're, we're not just stand gonna, back. We're, we're not just gonna, gonna, we're just gonna pop this. We're gonna pop, pop it. Yes. You know why? Because guess what we got? A machete. A machete. So I've watched zero YouTube videos on how to do this. I feel like we should probably remove this label so there's a good slide on this because I want us to be successful. But okay. You know what I mean? I'm just. No, like, we're just gonna go for it. All right, we're just gonna go for it. So apparently, right. you see it. Champagne cocktail. Slide it up the the whozy whatsits and pop it off. I think that's with the my machete. Generally accepted idea. Can I get the f out of the way, please? There we go. On three, two, one. I I, I took the label off. Hold on, hold on. I believe I just said something like ten seconds ago about getting rid of the label. There goes the label. <laughs> now we're gonna take off the cork. All right, can I get out of the way? Oh okay. yeah, get out of the way. All right, do, get do this, dude. Do it, dude. I want you to be successful. Do it. Dude. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that totally worked. I just, just popped the cork and the glass, everything at the same time. I got this sharp like ship now at the end of our champagne bottle. <laughs> so fill with champagne, I believe is how it goes. I forgot what we were doing to be perfectly honest with you. There we go. Yes, fill it. Dude, that was, that was impressive as bro. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. You know what? Regardless, you spilled it a little it up a little bit, no, 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 but, no. but, but, but this is going to taste like victory more this than is, anything. <laughs> I am already, I already feel victorious. I'm already going to like this cocktail, whether it tastes good or not. But here we go. I know we normally ask ourselves whether so it stands this bottle the test of time. used but... to be this tall. It is now this tall. Dude, <laughs> that's awesome. Good job, bro. First right. try, first take. First take. Dude. We did it. It's the first take. No, it's time for the first sip, yeah. What is it? First sip? First sip. First, first sip! All right, dude. Cheers. Okay. Cheers, bro. I mean, I'm excited whether it's Ooh. So we got champagne. A little champagne nose. Well, I got my ice cube for a second there. I got the Dubonnet. Mmm. Oh. I hope that was an ice cube in that glass. <laughs> we might have to rewind that back, do a double check, tell the straighter. That's pretty tasty. It's like a ghetto rosé. It is. It's like we, in, we needed rosé, but made, we didn't have rosé. We just made rosé. We just made rosé. I'm sure the like wine connoisseurs of the world would disagree with what we just did, but. I'm pretty sure that, that I mean, that looks like a. Dude. We got. So at the bottom of the glass, you see the uh, sugar cube still dissolving. Yep, yeah, and still But like, working. I don't know, half to three quarters, maybe dissolved. Yeah. Give it that little sweetness. A little sweetness. <laughs> I'm still flashing back to the fact you'd cut that damn thing off with a machete, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Straight bananas. <laughs> Banana pants. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's... That was a clean cut. Yeah, man. That machete was not sharp either. <laughs> That was awesome. That was probably the most awesome thing I've ever done. Should we throw it back to like a replay? Let's Can we do a replay? Can throw we do it back a slow to the motion replay? replay? All right, throw it back to the replay. Replay. That was banana. Awesome. I mean, we've made a mess, it's and a mess, that's fine. But that's not bad. But Dude, it's not as much as mess as we I got expected. what we asked for. <laughs> you know what we forgot to do? Is add a lemon oh. twist. We're, we, we're, we just I got, got so excited. We got so excited. I got so excited. You ready for lemon? All right, let's give me the lemon, dude. Let's see what we got with this. We lemon twist. twist. The lemon. I'm just gonna twist it. I'm not gonna do anything fancy or crazy. I know everyone commented on the last episode that I f***ed up the whole like lemon twist idea, and to be honest, I'm not Dropping proving in. them wrong. Do we do we I, oh, twist Jesus. over? I give think, it that effervescence. Jesus. Drop it in. I think we want to literally oh. like express that I'm expressing. Oh, I expressed it. Dude. Lots of expression. Dude, what is up with this thing? 
blame the thing. Dude. There Dude, you go. Am I getting it wrong? There we go. There you Jesus, go. Jesus, H. Criminy. Ah! Ah! There we go. That's perfect. Jesus. Now twist it over the glass. Twist it over Look the at glass. That. Look at that. Get the like the oils oh, expressed. The expression? Uh oh. Oh, I saw it sparkle. Drop it in. I'm just throwing it in. Oh my gosh, that brings a totally different nose to New the drink. heights? Oh my god. Cheers. Oh. Ooh. Mm. Oh, that's fruity. Mm. That's nice. That's Ooh. That brings about, a whole nother level. Do you think that's citrus? And my pinky just went out. Like, I don't even know why. <laughs> my pinky just went out reflexively. Oh. That makes it so much better. That was actually kind of a like, great ad. I'm sorry I f***ed up by not like thinking of it before. We got so excited by the champagne, we Dude, forgot about the lemon twist. It's plenty to be excited about. I mean, I can understand. Uh, Let's just, get a rosé. Now it's something else. Now it's rosé extraordinaire. <laughs> there you go. Rosé extraordinaire. I would drink that every day and 10 times on Sunday. <laughs> this does not only stand the test of time, it was out of the test of time. Like, it should still be here. It is that good. Like, who thinks about a Bellini or like a, you know, like right. anything like that? Right. No. Forget that. You want to dr drink one of these. You want Alfonso's cocktail. Alfonso yeah. cocktail. Alfonso? You know what? It's probably you're, your name. You're a bad mother. It's probably your name. That's probably Especially why if you cut the top off of champagne <laughs> while you're doing it. Exactly. I think it's because of, I mean, if it would have been anything, if it would have been like, you know, Jimmy's cocktail. <laughs> Maybe it would have stayed the test. That's some Jeff's cocktail. Jeff's. Some <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> something like that, <laughs> but Alfonso. I'm pretty sure Jeff's cocktail is made with Miller Lite instead of champagne. <laughs> mm. Stand a test of time. Hit me. Hell yeah! All right, stand a test of time. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've not had a lot of champagne drinks, but I, I would drink this again. Yeah. That's for sure, dude. And Dubonnet. Dubonnet. Uh, I'm still the long forgotten, apparently a little thing to add to your champagne. Yeah, dude. Turns it out. Yeah. Dude, I am excited about this one. This one is tasty. Dude, Alfonso cocktail. Alfonso, this Ooh. might be the one Ooh. that I am most excited about so far. I feel like we're most excited about the most recent one a lot of the time. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I'm usually most excited about the drink I'm drinking. Yeah, fair enough. Either way, Alfonso cocktail. You're gonna need to add it to your repertoire. Yeah, try it out. Get, let us know. Let us know what you think. I mean, figure it out. If you not, cut your hands off, we're not responsible. We're just like putting that out there. But if you want to like put pour it in there like normal humans, uh, like we'd love to hear what you think. So love to hear it. All right, man. Vintage bartender coming at you. Latest episode. Until next time. Until next time. Yeah, dude. Until we try our next beverage in our 1950s bar aid cocktail Rolodex. Make rosé where there's no rosé in your life. Life needs more rosé. For sure, dude. All right, man. See you next time. All right. Vintage Peace. bartender. Bye. A machete. I can't do it. Oh, yeah, do it again. Today's. Does it. Drunk with a machete. Perfect. <laughs> Maniac. Dude, that's, it's open. It's open. This thing's fing awesome. Here's your opening a little bit there. A little, it's all a scarred. Little dagger. And, scarred and mental. Like a lion. If you king. drink any bits of tin, I, I apologize. I'm pretty excited about today. I am pretty excited too. Did you record? We're recording. Oh, perfect. We're just making stuff happen. Jesus. <laughs> like, what is wrong with you? Because back to back. That goes That's there. a lot of bubbles. That's a lot of bubbles. Alfonso cocktail. It's really called Alfonso. Alfonso cocktail. Not even like the Fonz. <laughs> it's literally called Alfonso. Alfonso. Cocktail. No Fonz. No Fonzie. There's no Fonz. The Fonz. This was this is before this was the before Fonz. the Fonz, wasn't it? The Fonz is. Technically... You know what? The Fonz got on this coattail. Is what happened. <laughs> Alfonso 
AKA the Fonz. <laughs> the, the greaser from the 1970s depicting the 1950s show. Yeah. <laughs> Just good. Mm. 